Hi, I'm teacher Im and I prepare videos to help my students score better in their STPM Maths D paper. And I hope all my videos can be helpful for you too. Well, today in this video, I'm going to talk about a pastel question which comes from trapezium rule that chapter. Okay, so let's get to the question. Now, before we go to the question, we, you need to understand and know that the trapezium rule, that formula actually is in your exam paper. So you have the trapezium rules and you have the uh, formulas right there. Okay, right there over here. Okay, and to take note, you have to know some details about the formula. So the H is belonging to the height and they actually gave you a formula to calculate the height. B and A for the formula from the height is actually from here. Okay, it's actually from here where A is the number at the bottom of the integration and B is the one on top. Okay, so the big number minus the small number divided by N. So what exactly this N is? Okay, let's check it out. So n is the number of subinterval. So you have a lot of subinterval inside the uh, stripes uh, inside the table. So number of or is actually the number of ordinates minus one. Okay, is the number of interval minus one. So for example, four subinterval is equivalent to five ordinates. So you have to make sure uh, you read carefully inside the question. Basically, they will tell you how many ordinates they need or how many stripes they need. Okay, so let's check out the one of the questions over here. So I'm using the year 2017 question because it has a special part over here where they ask you to show. Actually, I already discussed about uh, trapezium rules and some of the type of question that came will come out for trapezium rule in my previous online class. If you have not seen it, I suggest you go and have a look at it. Okay, so let's read this question for a while first. By using the trapezium rule with six ordinates, this is what is given. Sometimes they will say six stripes and sometimes they will just give you the x. Okay, so here they say six ordinate. Find the value of, they gave you a val, uh, something that you are going to use the trapezium rule in. Okay, correct to three decimal places. All right, so when they say correct to three decimal places, you know the answer of your calculation should be like five or six decimal places to make sure you had an accurate answer. Okay, try to make more than three decimal places. Four is too near, but don't go do three. If you don't have the time, you can do four, but best is five or six. Okay, so I, I usually will do more, two uh, decimal places more than what is needed inside the question. Okay, so the first thing is you need to know they gave you six ordinates, so you have to know that it's actually only the n is five. Okay, so you will write this out. So this you are just now I mentioned already is inside the question. So two is from the element that they gave you here. Two minus zero is the second element they gave you here, and then divided by the n. N is from how many ordinates they gave. So you have uh, six ordinates, therefore the n is five. Then you are going to prepare a table. So this one, when you calculate your h, that's why I say you have to calculate your h because as you calculate your h, you actually get one mark for it. And then you are going to build this table. Okay, so this table usually will have two marks. You will get uh, here, you got six elements. So they will say like at least four correct uh, numbers calculated, then one mark, and then all correct one mark. So you make sure you have this table where all those numbers you calculate from the y. So they, you have to set in the x. Huh? So how to set in the x is super, super easy. You take from the first one that they gave you, zero. 
So the height is 0 0.4. So what you do is you take 0 plus 0 0.4. You get 0 0.4 then plus 0 0.4 again you get 0 0.8 you plus 0 0.4 again plus 0 0.4 again and so on until you reach of the last uh, interval so which is 2 so once you reach 2 you can stop already okay then you press calculator use the calculator to get the value of y and uh, remember uh, make sure you have all these numbers in the correct decimal places that you need. You have to be consistent. So if you start with five decimal places, okay, you will end up each and every one must have five decimal places. You cannot like first one, five decimal places. Second one, I want to use six decimal places. No, you have to be consistent. If, if you choose to use five decimal places, make sure all the other answers that you get is also five decimal places. Okay, but the question need three, I know, but be patient. You can't do that until the final answer. Okay, so now I'm going to transfer the information that I have inside the table. Okay, so the table is two marks first. So as promised, so here is five marks. Eh? So we have the H is one mark. The table is two marks. Finish uh, with that. So here is the table again. I'm going to go for... Using the trapezium rule, I want it correct to three decimal places. So therefore, I'm going to put it inside the trapezium rule. So this is my trapezium rule. You do not need to copy it from the uh, list that they gave you, but you are going to apply it. Okay, you definitely need to apply this. Follow the equation. So one over two. So you got 0 0.4 is the one that you calculated the H. Okay, and then the first number, the y naught is the first number, and then the y uh the value here, okay, is y n. Sorry, typing error here. So y n means the last number here, all right, and then you have the full calculation of the center list. So you will copy each and every one. So let's say if you use uh five decimal places, so make sure all of this is five decimal places, don't miss it. Okay, because you will fill in with your numbers. Okay, whatever you have here, you need to fill in exactly. Then you will get one mark. Then you will press calculator to get the answer. And then finally, you need the three decimal places. Okay, because the question needed three decimal places. So that will be your final one more marks. All right, so once all of that is set already, then we will move on to the next part of the question. So in the next part of the question, remember when you do the exam the time, when you do question A, write A equal uh, A and then go on. If you do in question B, write B. Alright, so don't don't let the the examiner guess whether you have already started question B or not. So make sure you write it properly. So use the integration by parts, okay. If they mention integration by part, please use integration by parts. If they use, say, substituting method, please use substituting method. Okay, so you have to use whatever mentioned inside the question to get to your answer. All right, I'm going to use integration by parts. But this one is a trapezium rule. Uh, basically, it's trapezium rule. So I'm just going to run through uh, integration by parts very fast. Okay, so using integration by parts show that this answer is correct so i'm going to move on so integration by parts you have to choose the correct u and correct v if you do not remember l i a t e so you choose the exponent as the u and then the v will be whatever left behind okay so you will get your du dx and integrate your uh, v to get this value okay Next one, after you have already set in the U and V, means you have made a correct choice of your U and your V and doing the integration and the differentiation, they will give you one mark for it. Fun, right? So easy to get marks. Next will be filling in the integration. All right, so you fill in the integration into the integration by parts formula. So you will put uv minus uh, whatever element that you have. So you set it in properly inside the question. Okay, once you have already done that, 
So this part you can solve, this part you need to simplify and integrate. So you will set it in nicely. There you are. So like I said just now, you fill into the formula, you get one mark. And then you will try to solve this side. Okay, and then this one you will simplify before you integrate. But actually, we are not going to integrate that. Do you recognize which part is which one this this belongs to? Okay, so I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. So I'm going to simplify this part here, and you will get something like this minus uh, this one is simplified. So if you look at the question. It is already proven. Okay, it's, they asked you to show, so it's already shown, so that you will get one mark for that. And then they say deduce the appropriate value. They ask you to deduce the appropriate value. Wow, wow, wow. So they will use the word deduce, which means you are not going to integrate this furthermore, but you are going to use just now part A that answer. From part A, you have this. Okay, you have calculated the approximation. I'm going to use the three decimal places one. So the approximation answer is there. So I'm going to take the answer and basically calculate what I need. So they ask you to deduce. So you have to apply the answer. Remember, this is an approximation. So I'm going to use approximately. This is going to be what's happening. So I'm going to fill in and and key in into the calculator and finally i will get the answer that i need okay that's all that's all so stbm question is super super easy so don't worry about it if you already understand all the concept so stbm question is going to be so easy busy for you all right just understand all the concept carefully and make sure you practice okay so now go and get your a if you have not watched any of my videos yet please do so hit the like button if you understand what i taught you and if you like what i show you and do subscribe because i noticed that almost 80 percent 80 percent of my viewers are not my subscribers well it is free okay do subscribe because it is free so i will see you in my next video bye